Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. So we will start with uh, 8.1 today in uh, radioactivity. Let's start with discovery of re radioactivity. So the history of radioactivity, 1895, Wilhelm Conrad Rotgen, a German physicist, discovered X-ray. So he unintentionally taken an X-ray of photograph uh, of his wife's hand. So the background is a, a picture of the, uh, his wife's hand. So the, the success led Wilhelm Conrad Rotgen to receive the first Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901 for discovery of X-ray. So Anthony Henry Becquerel, uh, scientist, a French scient uh, physicist, uh, in 1896, became the first person to successfully discover radioactivity. He found a radioactive compound, uranium, and also unintentionally produced rays can, that can blacken the photographic plate even in the dark. So the ray was detected based on the ioning pro properties and due to this, so Anthony Becquerel also received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903 for the discovery of radioactivity. Okay, this is a, a picture of the blackened photographic plate found by Becquerel. So after attending the session of paperwork uh, presentation by Rodgen in 20 January 1896, so Becquerel was surprised because his study could not produce the X-ray. So hence, Becquerel replaced the material uh, being studied with uranium compound, Mary and Perry Curie. In the end of uh, 1897, Mary and Perry Curie, uh, a married couple from Poland, successfully detected radioactive radiation uh, through its ionizing power and not through the photographic effects. So the theory that Mary and Perry Curie state that the atom release uh, their ions uh, by itself. Uh, it's more like a flaw making uh, themselves a bread, uh, something like that. So at the beginning of uh, uranium or which uh, known as pitch blend so they successfully extract two more radioactive elements and they name these two uh, elements as polonium and radium since the uh, discovery of radium so the gamma ray emits by radium have been used in various fields including medicine to treat cancer so radium mercury died uh, caused by the prolonged exposed to gamma rays. Even though Marie Curie is the only woman who received two Nobel Prize, one in physics in 1903 and the second one is Nobel Prize in 1911. So radioactivity is a random and spontaneous decay process of unstable nucleus by emitting radioactive radiation as shown in figures 8.2 radioactive radiation consists of three rays okay number one is alpha particles uh, alpha radiation the symbol is uh, this one the second one is but beta particle also known as beta radiation so the symbol is something like B yeah and the third one is gamma ray uh, it's not a G yeah? is a symbol of uh, more like a Y here. Okay, so this is uh, figures 8 show the alpha particles. So alpha particles in natural states uh, of alpha particle in the form of helium nucleus. Okay, for example, uranium-238 uh, decay into thorium-234 and also produce alpha particles of helium nucleus. Okay, uh, the, the second one is uh, 
beta particles in the form of uh, electron, high speed electron. So, example is thorium 234, okay, decay into protectinium 234, and also the uh, beta particles, high speed electron. And the, uh, number three is cobalt 60. So, in the form of uh, electromagnetic wave. So, example is cobalt 60. Uh, nucleus of cobalt is less stable. And decay into cobalt 60 in the form of uh, more stable state. And also produce gamma ray. So, thank you very much.